Hello guys, it's DB Grounder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have True Hero with 907 rating versus Necros 51 with 1394 rating. So this is going to be another high rated DB video, and with that being said, let's just hop right in, and we're going to see True Hero win the rock, paper, scissors, shoot, and then decide to go first, 40 versus 40, gotta love to see it. Opening hands, we have Strike, Fusion Destiny, Imperm Ash, and Plasma, so... This is a pretty decent opening. You know, they're going to have Ash, Imperm, Enforcer, and Strike. And then, like, follow-ups through Celestial. And they have Imperm, Desires, Imperm, Eteli, and Chinglong. So they have two going second cards here, but not really that great versus Fusion Destiny. I mean, it'll be able to, like, Imperm hit Enforcer, um, but they're still going to have these... Oh, they're playing like an actual hero deck. Okay, um, didn't expect that, especially because like Fusion Destiny's played in a lot of decks, and then also they're playing Strike and Heroes. You don't usually see that, but this is really good for them. So they're gonna Mally, summon out Mally from the deck, and then Denier, summon, put back Mally. And then get rid of those, and that's going to go into the cross, and then cross effect the special summon back, and then let this go through, summon out to denier, and then cross effect to tribute to try to go search, they're going to activate imperm, um, so yeah, it looks like, think on imperm, um, they just chain enforce you here to go ahead and pop it, so that way they can just like dodge imperm. And obviously they can't like chain another imperm here because there's already a card on field. So they get the search, go search Vion, and then get enforced your graveyard effect. Don't forget graveyard effect. I won't, but thanks. I mean fair, I guess. Normal summon out Vion, Vion effect, and then this is definitely getting hit with Imperm. I mean this card's a dump and a search for Polly. Kinda crazy. Definitely the best normal summon in the deck. And then set two past they draw lulu standby phase enforcer comes out and then they're going to activate ching long lulu effect and then chain enforcer and enforcer will go ahead pop vion pop the ching long and then e telly chain ash blossom all right then activate desires and this has to be like really 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 good draws like lightning storm main deck it, they wouldn't even do it because like they already used Lulu. Oh, well, they're playing the Sword Soul stuff. Okay, that could be a one card top deck with like a Lightning Storm, but they didn't draw it. Um, yeah, not looking good for them. Oh wait, they also they banished all their targets unless they play three Neon, which I kind of doubt that they do. So e -Telly was just a horrible draw too. But e -Telly wasn't even going to do anything. I mean, they're going to end up striking them. So they're going to activate that. I mean, they just have to summon from the hand here. So so you summon Lulu, normal summon the end, and then you're just going to get striked. Um, I mean, I guess you forgot about Chinglong and Graveyard, but you can e -Telly summon out like Nian and then Chinglong effect but that again we'll just lose out the strike no nothing beats the strike here and they just go ahead and admit defeat so I don't know why they did that maybe they don't know e -Telly can summon out from hand otherwise like they could have at least tried to do something um but yeah they didn't so I don't think that they know e -Telly can summon from hand but Opening hands, we have Mally, Droplet, Imperm, Dark Calling, Fusion Destiny, and they have Chuchi, Emergence, Imperm, Roshi, and Desire. So they have two going second cards here. And they're going to start this off by activating the Desires. And then Desires go banish 10. I wonder how they like Desires over like Prosperity in this deck. But we can go ahead and see that two Nian are banished there. They draw Emergence and City. And then they're going to activate City. City, go ahead and bring out the Choo Choo from the deck. And then Roshi effect, target trap, go dump Ching Long. And then they're going to activate the Ching Long effect there. And it's going to banish itself. 
and then go search out the Lulu and discard, discarding the Chuchi, and then Lulu effect, target trap, go dump spell, add monster, so dump Xinglong, and then grab GG, then GG effect, and that's going to target monster to go dump, and that's going to dump the Sean Wu, and then summon, and they're just going to get rid of those and go for charge warrior. Kind of thought that they would activate Chu Chi to like up the level. Because, like, you know, they're going to go for Zulk and uh, Charge Warrior, draw on the Mo Yi. And then they're going to get rid of those, go into Zulk and, and then set the Zulk in effect. They're going to chain Imprim on that. Um. Who? So. Right here, they could go ahead and use. Sean Wu effect in response to Imperm and then Chain Chu Chi Pop Zulkin. How would they get the other two banished? Is the question. Um, because they'd want Chu Chi to be live next turn, you know? So, I mean, they would have Chu Chi effect, but they don't have Nian, so they have to go for like a Shen Shen play, which I just don't really see how they're getting it there. Yeah, um, but, alright, they are going to go ahead and just let this go through, and then normal summon Mo Yi, Mo Yi effect, reveal the emergence, they said, oh, <laughs> it's like they got the sword soul stuff in there, and then go for the synchro, get the effects, so they are going to draw a Kirin, and then go search blackout, okay, that, wait a second, they could have still set up Chu Chi through that, right? Because they could Sean Wu banish to special summon. And then they could special summon out Lulu from the graveyard. And then they could activate the emergence to go search for Kieran because it's a worm. And they have Zulkan on board. And then that could equal Shen Shen. But I guess they, oh yeah, because they still have to get another virtual world card banished. Ah, like at well, ah, oh, because you wouldn't even be able to get Chu Chi banished. Yeah, so you'd have to summon out Roshi and then lower the level. But then you're still down a virtual world card. But they're gonna activate the emergence there. It's just cool because like this deck has a lot of different lines of plays. Then go grab Long Young. So. You know, they're most likely playing Floor in the deck if they are playing the Long Young. So, Special Summon, then bring out the token, turn those into Floor, Effect, burn for 12. And then they're going to activate the Kieran Effect. Alright, Kieran Target Trap. That's going to dump Chinglong, Special Summon out. Um, then they are going to activate Chu Chi. To make this go up by three. Um. All right. Yeah, this uh, this works. And then they are just going to set end phase GG at back Lulu. Pass. So they have Floor, Synchro, Chuchi, Imperm, Blackout, five interruptions, plus follow ups. Now they're gonna activate Fusion Destiny and then Chain Droplet. That's going to get rid of two. And then, yep, that resolves. It's going to negate Floor and uh, the Synchro. And then they are going to get rid of those for the Fusion Destiny. That's going to summon out Enforcer. And then Normal out Vion. Vion effect. They let this go through. And then yeah, I'm guessing they don't want to, like, activate Imperm on Vion and then Chain Enforcer to go ahead and, like, pop Chuchi. Um, I mean, yeah, it's like, oh, they're just kind of in a tough position here. They're going to dump Shadow Mist, and then Shadow Mist effect, go grab gold, and then activate Vion effect, banish the Shadow Mist to go search out the Poly, then activate Dark Calling, Dark Calling is going to banish two, and then summon out the Malicious Bane, set Think on Summon, they're going to activate the Blackout here. And that's going to pop the Kirin, and they're going to try to pop those two. And then they're going to Chain Enforcer, and then they're going to Chain Imperm on the Bane. Because if you read this card, it cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects. 
So, like, it's pretty obvious that they had, like, a negation going on. Otherwise, why would they target this over Vion? Um, and then they're going to activate Chuchi, Chuchi to pop the Vion. Okay, so Vion goes, and then Enforcer's going to pop itself in Chuchi, and then this is going to go, and that goes, and then they get the Enforcer Graveyard effect. Oh, uh, they can still keep going here, though. They know everything that the opponent has now. The card in hand is Lulu. It's added off the GG. Uh, Denier summoned itself out. Just Fusion Destiny is so good in the actual hero deck because you can just keep playing afterwards. Um, and then they're going to Denier, put back Mali, so that way they can use Mali effect again, go for Cross, Cross effect the special, and this will go ahead and special summon back out the Enforcer from the graveyard, and then Mali summon Mali, Cross effect, tribute Mali, go search for Liquid Soldier, and then activate Polly, give her to Liquid Soldier, and then they're going to give her to the cross. Okay, they're going to go for this, gains 100 attack for each element to hero monster in your graveyard, and then they're going to get Soldier effect, the draw and discard, so draw two, discard fusion destiny. Um, also, they have one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, they have six hero cards in the graveyard. So, the opponent's monsters are losing a pretty solid amount of attack. They're going to use the effect to banish. It's negated. Yeah, they're just trying to get the trap effect. So, now they get to beat over that. Beat over this. And then, pass turn, draw nib. Oh, they could have used that last turn. Um, actually, it wouldn't even been, like, that good. No, it wouldn't have done anything. I mean, it would have outed this. But, like... Enforcer would have just went to the graveyard, but the effect was already used before, so it's still just come back during standby phase. I guess it would, like, be able to go battle phase. Oh, you wouldn't be able to go battle phase and bait it, because there's so many heroes in grave. Yeah, that's tough. And then, Shinglong effect. Banish itself, and that will go ahead and search out the Kirin, and then discard Nib. I think I lose here. I think so, too. So they decide to go ahead and normal summon. Um, yeah, I guess like otherwise they're just going to activate like Sean Wu to summon out from the graveyard. And then they're still just going to end up losing out. Yeah, there's just no way they win here. So uh, they're going to activate the Enforcer effect to pop that. And then they go ahead and they admit defeat. We see the GG's there. Um, that's it. So... This deck's cool to show off, because, like, I don't know, it's just, like, different than normal. It's different than Sword Soul, it's different than Virtual World. Not by, like, a lot, but some cool plays that you can do with the cards. But I like seeing the hero deck, like, especially, like, with Enforcer. Like, it definitely makes the deck a lot stronger. Especially through, like, you know, Nib. It used to be, like, this deck only was able to end on a Nib token, but now it's, like, the deck will end on, like, at least an Enforcer with the and then, like, a lot of the times you're getting this, and this can go ahead and draw on the, like, hand traps that you're playing. Or, like, if you're going first post side deck, you can draw until, like... I know a lot of people, if they go first with the deck, they put in, like, judgments. Um, so, like, judgment could be something that you draw. But with all that being said, the DB Grinders signing off. Peace. Have a nice day. Stay safe.